My name is Coach Tony. I am the Director of Forensics at San Joaquin Delta College. Speech debate, sometimes called forensics, but uh, speech debate is basically uh, an academic event that involves several different events, kind of like track and field, where you have people that compete in debate, you have others that compete in speech events, and you have a third set of events called interp events, where you practice different arts of storytelling, like slam poetry, like dramatic interpretations. Right now, next semester, we're gonna meet on Wednesdays, starting at 10.30 to 1.30. And we meet every Wednesday. And then we have independent coaching sessions where we meet via Zoom or in person. There's a different kind of modalities that we have for students to make it, you know, to, to meet their needs of their schedules. And we attend tournaments depending on what semester and what students qualify for. In the fall semester, we go to about four to five tournaments. And in the spring semester, depending on how many tournament students qualify for, we go from anywhere to uh, three to six tournaments. So the opportunities for the speech debate teams are, 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 are abound, there's just so many. Our number one thing is we strongly agree with students getting out of school without having to pay that much money. And so we really drive and strive for our students to get scholarships. So every single semester, every, at the end of every year, we, we, we send out several students on scholarships so they can get out of school without paying for it. We have about right now, people that used to be on the team, there's about eight former students currently in graduate programs that are getting graduate coaching stipends. And so they made it through San Joaquin Delta with some of the different types of benefits we had here, didn't have to pay for their school. They got scholarships to go to college, didn't have to pay for their school. And now they're teaching on coaching stipends without having to pay for school. So they're gonna get a graduate degree without ever having to pay for school. The second benefit that happens is we send our, we send our students to um, really competitive schools, like every single semester, we send at least one or two students to Berkeley. We got a student right now at UCLA who's actually writing for the LA Times, just entertainment writer, Danielle Broadway, pretty awesome. We, you know, we, we basically get our students prepared to get to the school of their dreams. Like one of the things I asked them in the fall semester is what school do you want to go to? Where's your dream school? And I can't tell him times so I was like, oh, I can't get into that school, but I would really love him to go here. And we figured out a way to get him there. Nine out of 10 times, if it's your dream school, you want to go, we help you take the right classes. We help you get the right counseling services. We help you organize with the right types of support. Plus the team just wraps a big, you know, big hand of support around you to help you get to the goal that you want to get to. So those are some of the, the biggest benefits of joining the team. It just really makes your college experience so much better in my personal opinion. Our team's recent trip to Michigan was for as a National Forensics Association, one of the most prestigious, hardest tournaments of the semester. And it's a week long trip. It's in, it was in Michigan, so it's kind of mentally taxing. And it's basically six straight days of competition. And so if you imagine, if you will, you might have 200 students who all qualify for this national tournament from every school throughout the United States, Canada, and whatever. If they can make it, you qualify for it, you can go. And then out of that 200, only the top 36 make it to the out rounds. That gets cut to 16. That gets cut to the final uh, six into a final round, or I think it's about 16 and then eight, or it might be bigger than that, but, but whatever it is, it's like three rounds, quarter, octafinals, quarterfinals, and then finals, and, or semifinals, and then finals. And that's the top six speakers of that event. And then from there, you get ranked one through six, so you can tell who the top speakers of the nation. It's a ruling event. I'm pleased to admit this year, we had two people break up that tournament, and both of those students ended up breaking in novice nationals. So we had a novice uh, semifinalist in LB debate, and we had a novice speaker that was fourth in the nation in novice and prompt two speaking. And we ranked first in California, first in NFLD amongst community colleges in the nation, and 10th overall at the tournament. I mean, absolutely amazing. Like we put it down, and we, we took out teams like the Sac State, we took out our sister school down the street, you know, uh, uh, UOP. Um, I, we, we were ecstatic. We got a big cup and trophy that we all took a picture with. Um, I don't know, it was, just, it was amazing. It was amazing. And all of that does a good job of getting our students on the map. And we had several colleges coming down here talking to our students and make, ask them where they were going the next semester. And that's why we do it. Our success sheds light on our program and that gets students more opportunities to get scholarships and more opportunities to get different academic pursuits that they want to um, that they may want to look into or pursue. Um, if there's students that are interested, you don't need any experience. And if you did in high school, you're like, hey, I kind of liked it, um, but I don't really know. We have students from all different skill levels. There's novice divisions, there's the junior division, and there's the open division. So whether you are very competitive, whether you are just learning and want to figure it out, the team 
can take any student, but we can build you up to being whatever it is you want to be. And so if you're interested, definitely sign up for Comp 52. Okay, and speech debate team.